Daniel Ramsey here with My Outdesk. I'm really excited. Uh, we have Kevin Markarian. I hope I'm saying your last name right. Uh, nailed it. I nailed it. That's good. That's good. Okay, so from Bay Area, San Francisco guy, Marker Real Estate. Uh, I'm really excited because this guy has agreed to just come and like drop massive value. And that's what I like about these kind of conversations is somebody who's an expert at the thing that they do um, coming on here and then just sharing value. So that's the intention today. Um, we do have questions. Uh, so if, you, if, if you're on Facebook or, or you wanted to kind of, you know, ask a question, we're diving really deep into Facebook. Uh, the biggest problem that every business has is leads, 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 leads. Like that's the thing that makes or breaks a business, right? Revenue solves all issues, all problems. So Kevin, welcome. Uh, thanks for being here. And uh, let, let's just jump in. Let's dive right in for people. Let's get some value, huh? Let's do it. Sounds awesome. Glad to be here, man. Okay. So a uh, couple things. Uh, definitely ask, ask questions, um, but you're also giving something away. What are you, what are you giving away again? So, uh, so we're going to give away a free 60 minute uh, consultation where we'll jump into your business. Well, you and I as business owners and entrepreneurs and successful uh, business people, we'll jump in and look at your business. Um, we'll take a look at it for, you know, for free. We'll take a look at what's going on. We'll dig deep. We'll see, you know, where um, there can be some improvements made and we'll just, you know, provide you with a free consultation uh, just to be on this webinar today. And yeah, happy to do it. So that's what we're giving away today. And I'm, Looking forward to talking with people about uh, what you get, what they're doing in their businesses. So that's well, what it is. What's really cool about that is you are a practicing real estate, like yep. mad genius. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm lucky enough. We've had over 4,000 real estate clients, number one, two, three guys in the, in the market, meaning they're doing thousands of transactions a year. So you and I are like agreeing basically to drop all of our knowledge into somebody's business, regardless of where you are, we're gonna add value, provide you know positive growth for your company. And all you have to do is text MOD to 555-888 with your full name, and then you're entered into a drawing to get that kind of one hour consultation with Kevin and I. And so I'm super excited about that. Um, we're gonna talk about it more, but let's, let's jump in, dude. We're doing Facebook. And we're demystifying how hard it is to figure it out, right? For everybody, yep. how long have you been doing it? What what's your what's your world around it? Um, well, we started really focusing on Facebook about two years ago when um, I felt like the audience was shifting from um, you know really if you start like going back where do where do people spend most of their time and when they're looking for you know properties to buy or sell you know back in in the day people would go to like offices okay they go walk into offices and look for a realtor to provide them with information. Well, those days are gone. Um, we're no lo real estate professionals are no longer the gatekeepers of information. So what we did as a company is we shifted um, to where the audience is. And so the audience then went online and they were on Google and um, you know, looking at the portals and they still are doing, are doing that, but more and more uh, people are spending time on social media. And the great thing about social media is that um, we can, you can really effectively target and like pick the audience that you want to see your ads and you can be very like specific. And that's, what's really powerful about Facebook. Um, and so we've been um, testing out lots of different things, talking with some of the best people in the industry with regards to, you know, what works, what doesn't work. And like you said, like I'm in it every single day. This is what I do every single day um, for our company is to um, strategize and figure out ways to, um, Drive revenue. Drive revenue. And like you said, it's about customers, right? We need customers. We need leads. We need people to come in and, and knock on our door. And so now like the front door where it used to be the office is now online. The front door is like right here on our phones, right? So we need to be in front of the audience. That's where the audience is. And so that's where we're spending most of our time. Well, and that's something that you're giving away today. So you are definitely a bona fide expert. You guys are killing it in, in this one kind of lead source. Um, and one of the things that you said you're giving away when somebody texts us um, is how to build an audience, like a, an actual guide. So another thing at my outdesk, we never, ever, ever will have you come to a webinar and then like try to pitch yourself. We want to provide value. So you're going to get that free guide by texting 
um, that number, MOD to 555-888. But let's break it down for people because sometimes free guides, even though they're free, uh, I, I don't really know how to use them. You, mm -hmm. you heard the, the joke, the software's free, but the user guide's $10,000. Like, <laughs> talk to us about the guide. Like, talk to us about, like, what what do you what are we what are we giving the people? Okay, so we're gonna give away uh, things that are working for us. So we're gonna give away the um, the top three ads that we're using that have been very effective for us. Let's pull also, that. Yeah, we can jump in. We're also gonna give away, um, like you said, how to create a custom audience, like how to actually do it. It's an instructional guide that shows you step by step how to do it. And then uh, we have a schedule um, that will sh uh, help you to pack an open house. How to pack your open house, and it's a five day process. So we're going to get into that and get into some really interesting like things that you can do to, uh, to, to really attract a lot of people to your open houses. So this first guide, this first ad right here is one that we're using uh, on an off market property. Mm -hmm. And, and what we're doing a little bit differently with this is, uh, is we're giving away something for free. So we're having some fun with it. So you think about what, what is going to capture people's attention. Um, people like to have like fun with games, like gamifying, the process um, it can be interesting for people and people, you know, they kind of get engaged in the process. So with this particular ad, what we did is we, we uh, have our audience. So we have people that would be interested in this type, type of property. First and foremost, we know this is a property house in San Francisco. Um, we have the a price point in mind. We have a specific buyer in mind. And so what you can do on Facebook is you can target those people. Right. And so what we've created this ad and we've targeted those particular people. And, and, uh, and then we've had, we created a, a game out of it. So you can see here, um, what we're offering is a free Amazon Echo mm. to anyone that can guess the list price of this property. And we're generating like a lot, a lot of comments, a lot of comments, a lot of messages, people that are interested. And so the idea is people that comment, people that are um, messaging us, these are people that are probably interested in buying this property. They have the ability based on the, the demographic that we've used to target them. And, uh, and so it's been very, very effective. And this is like giveaways, you know, fun games, things that we can do to get capture people's interest. It's a little, di it's different from what you see every day, like a normal ad, just like, Hey, here's my house. Here's the price. Here's so in this situation, it's, it's gamifying it. We're giving something away for free. So if they uh, provide a, if they add a comment on the bottom, they get a, they get an Amazon, they get entered into a drawing to win an Amazon echo. So that's the kind of the premium, the pitch. And, uh, and then uh, we're using many chat on the back end through messenger that uh, sends a message to them as well. Okay. And hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we got to break that down for people because it's, it's powerful. And I think we, I, I also, I want to uh, point out some, something off market deal. That's a powerful call to action for people like inventory everywhere is like almost impossible to find. So I really like that you're, you're combining off market deal, low inventory plus a game. So I think that's really good. Um, but let's talk about what, what's the system that you're using to convert, you know, people from an ad to engaging with you. Okay. So what we're, I'll tell you guys step by step and I can provide a, a breakdown on this. And this is something that actually I learned through, a digital mark through digital marketing. This is like right. we're basically combining digital marketing and real estate. And right. uh, nobody's doing this. By nobody's the way. doing it. Nobody's nope. doing this. So what you're, you're, what we're learning today is cutting edge stuff, and that's what I love about these kind of webinars. And I went to an event last week in San Diego. A digital marketer had an event called uh, the Tech and Conversion Summit, and there were literally like five real estate people there, and it was there were six thousand people total, and there's five realtors that yeah. I. Saw. You and four other guys. Yeah, me, Sam Cramian, and a couple other guys. And, and that was like, that was it. And so this, these are some of the things that we learn that you see at these events. And that's what's really interesting when you combine two completely different industries, digital marketing, real estate. So anyway, so the way that this ad works is, first of all, we're providing something for free. Okay, so we're going to break it down. We're providing something for free. And an Amazon Echo is not like a game changer, right? But you can do a lot of fun things with this. Like if you want to get crazy with it, you can offer a lot more than an Amazon Echo. You can offer to pay somebody's mortgage if that's, you know, you can offer to do a lot more, okay? So this is something that we're trying that we did. It's a very small investment. So we're targeting specific audiences. We have, we're giving something away for free. 
It's an off-market property. There's not a lot of info here. You don't see price. You don't see, you know, you just see kind of the house and some basic information about the property. Right. And then we're asking people to guess the price. So people guess the price on the, in the comments. And then what will happen is they'll get an, we'll use an app called ManyChat, ManyChat, okay? What we want to do is we want to capture their information. Um, we want to capture their name, phone number, email address beyond just a comment on Facebook. So what will happen once they make that comment, we have, we call we use a bot and it's, a, it's, it's through many chat. And so what will happen is they'll get an, as soon as they make a comment, they'll get an instant reply through many chat, which is like, it's an artificial intelligence. Like they're getting a response. There's not a human being behind it. It's, it's all automated. They get a response and then the res and we want them to, to basically in order to capture their information, they, they have to reply through many chat. Okay. So we need them to reply through mini chat so we can then capture their info and then they become a subscriber and then we can start retargeting them. Right. So, and retargeting is important because it's a lower cost than building a custom audience. You can retarget somebody for pennies on the, on the dollar, right? You can retarget them. And it's also somebody that has already expressed interest in what you're doing. That's right. the power in retargeting. They've right. already clicked. They know who we are. They've seen marker real estate. So by having so the so by having them subs, become a subscriber now we've got their info we can start retargeting them so with many chat um once they comment they get a response through many chat and then what we our response is thanks for your uh comment just to confirm that you want to uh please confirm that you want to enter the drawing for the many free for the free echo right uh, so please reply yes right to right so we're so once they reply now we've got their info right okay so they want all we need is just a confirmation from them so it's very easy for them to say oh yes i do i am interested so and facebook gives you all that information on the back end like their where they live their income levels or like what what information do you get we get their we get their data we get we're able then to then reach out connect with them we've got their information so through many chats so so then once they reply, they've, they've replied, yes, now they're in, right? So now we want to go viral. And so what we'll do is we'll say, great. Um, we'll, we'll send another reply and it says, in order to double your chances, please tag a friend and we'll re-add your name into the entry, into the draw. Or share. On or your share. So, yeah. so then we're getting people tagging and sharing and stuff. And next thing you know, I mean, it's like you've got a lot of people that are interested in this in this property in this in this thing that we're doing and we've captured all their information so when they tag someone that would be interested the process starts all over again right i got it okay and 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 from like your experience like are we talking 500 people reply or tag a friend or that like what what has been your kind of normal response rates or normal from a good ad like like the one some we're ads are the ads some ads are different than others i was at the event in at the digital marketing event they had ten thousand people register for a product okay so you can i mean this thing it could go like like wildfire it could go so crazy. i think it really depends also on the on what you're providing and what you're offering so for us the amazon echo i mean that's a small offering if you wanted to make it bigger make it much more interesting give away a who knows? I mean, you could get give away a lot, right? So it's really what you're doing is you're investing in that one thing that you're giving away, mm -hmm. which is called considered like we call it the premium, right? So um, if, if what you're selling will make you more than what you're giving away, then it's, then it's an ROI. It's worth the investment. I can give away a car, a $25,000 car. Right. If it, I'm going to make a hundred thousand dollars on that, on that ad. Okay, so we've got a question from Matthew. Thanks, Matthew. What are you using for the drawing when you have all those signups? So what we'll do then, once the drawing is over with, so here's where it gets really cool too, is uh, so once we have the drawing, we'll, so we'll send a message out to everyone that, that entered and say, hey, Daniel, thanks for entering. We have a winner, it's John Smith. Unfortunately, he didn't win this time. But if you'd like a free consultation on the value of your home, I'd love to connect with you and sit down with you. Right. Right. If you'd like us to sit down with you and show you some information on homes in the area, I'd love to connect with you and do that. Right. Uh, so 
you know, it's, it's just, it's another way to stay in front of them. But as far as, yeah, go ahead. Well, my question is like, <clears throat> cause online is awesome, but when you bring them offline, meaning when you take somebody who is a lead that did a contest that you had some interactions with, like when do you hit them with a phone call? When do you put them into your actual CRM? When do you start the heart, you know, cause real estate is a belly to belly. Like I've never known anybody to buy a house without a conversation and a meeting. Right. So there, there's a, there's a transition. And to Matthew's point, like, you know, once somebody wants to, to talk, like how, how do you, do you push them all the way to they're asking for it? Or do you try to go out and pull, pull that request? All, all this is, is just to have those conversations. This is not, this is not just to get names and phone numbers. Like this is to have those conversations, to meet with people face to face. So once we've got their info, we know that these people are interested because we targeted them. Right. Right. We know that these people are, are able for the most part to buy this property. So if they're responding, they're being tagged and stuff like, um, we know that they're interested. So we just pick up the phone and call like, Hey, thank you so much for entering our contest. Like that was, we wanted to have some fun with it. Unfortunately you didn't win, but you know, I saw that you clicked on that property where, you know, are you interested? Are you kind of thinking about buying a home? You know, are you thinking about selling? Right. So that, then it just becomes, Oh, that kind of a thing. Right. But that's, that's the whole point is it's, it's not about, you know, it's, it's, it's about having those conversations. It's, I mean, it's fun to get as many people as you can possibly like, I mean, for me, that's where I get like kind of, it's a game. It's, it's a game, fun. right? Like I want to get, I want to get a thousand people or whatever, but right. it's really, uh, it's really about, then you have opportunities. The, the, those number, the number of people that have replied, those are potential clients now. Right. And so now they've seen your name. Now they know who you are and now you're reaching out to them and thanking them for entering the drawing. Hey, thank you so much. Saw that you inquired or saw you entered that drawing. Sorry, I didn't get that Amazon Echo, but I'd love to, you know, talk with you further if you're interested in that property. By the way, that home hasn't listed. We haven't listed it yet. Would you like maybe an off? Would you like a tour? Would you like to set up a time for you to take a look at it? Are you thinking about selling? Do you know anyone? So that's what it's all about. And those, and those conversations are a lot easier to have once they've already entered, like they've provided their info. So it's, it's, it's not a cold conversation anymore. You have a reason now to reach out and, and connect. Well, it's a great question um, and shameless plug. We teach our virtual professionals to do the LP mama, like location, price, motivation. You know, do you have an agent? Are you approved for a mortgage? And then set an appointment. So we, I, I believe this is a great kind of handoff because as an agent, like, I don't know that going through a thousand Facebook leads is like your highest and best use, but the 10 people, that, you know, say, yeah, I'm actually interested in selling or buying. That's when I, I believe a virtual professional can hand that off to somebody like Kevin and Kevin can crush it. So yeah, that's yeah absolutely. It's, it's all about leverage for sure. And if you've got someone that can do that for you, I mean, it's, uh, that's it. I mean, that's, that's where it's a that's a win. Okay, cool. So let's go to the next, um, one. Let's talk about this one. Um, like what, what does this ad do that's differently than the first? Well, this one, we're simply off, you know, like you said, we're talking about an off market opportunity and we're mentioning that if somebody who buys this house will sell their home for free. So that's like, that's a really catchy, you know, ad that you could throw out and people would be very interested in taking a look at that. Like, wow. Right. So, so again, it's, it's just, uh, it's about, uh, doing things a little bit differently and, uh, and, and reaching out and connecting with people in a way that, perhaps is a little, um, I guess, unusual or, you know, interesting. If I'm a seller and I see something that says, wow, like, they're going to sell my house for free like that. I might want to check that out. Right. So, so that's, uh, that's what, the, what this ad does. And it's a, it's a way to kind of get people interested. And, and again, we're, we're targeting, um, we're targeting people that have specific, like specific demographics, high net worth, um, to answer this person's question, high net worth, um, within a specific radius within the city. And we have the, the instructions to how to create a custom audience and how to target as well, which we'll share with everyone. We'll give, we're going to give that away, right? Or people that enter that do the text. Yeah. And Hey, uh, Linda, it was, it's hard to see. Um, when you text us, we're going to send you how to build a custom audience. Like we're, we're, Kevin is just like such a gracious man. He's a beautiful man, guys. He's given this away. Uh, so he's giving you not only the how to create target audiences, like, like step-by-step -step guide, but we'll also give you copies of 
of the ads that we have here in the background. We just wanted to have some examples and show you that he's done it. So I hate going to webinars when somebody, you know, is like in their brain thinking this is how it, maybe it would work, but this guy's done it. So he's doing it right now and he, he, he's using virtual professionals and he's, he's in the real estate game and he's in the hotbed of technology. So it's just good to have those kind of um, people come and present. So, uh, okay, so this is a good one. I, that there is always somebody in the audience that is like, okay, uh, Kevin, you're full of crap. You're not going to sell somebody's house for free. Even if they buy this one, talk to me about like, how does the mechanics of that offer actually work? Like I'll totally sell their house for free. If they buy this house and I make a hundred thousand dollars on a $3 million house, we'll list your house and we'll sell it for free. Like, we'll we will. I mean, there are some fees involved with like insurance and small costs, but um, I'll, I'll list your house for free. If we, if you buy this property, like totally hundred percent, we'll do it. It's not, there's no gimmick or anything around it. Like if you, if you buy this house now, what are the chances, right? I mean, what are the chances that a person's actually going to buy this house? Like, and then re and then sell like that's, I'll be completely open. I mean, that's never happened before. Okay. It's never happened, but if it does happen, we will, we will sell that house for free. Um, however, it's very rare that that's, that's hap that, that, that will happen. The okay. idea again with this, Daniel, it's about lead generation. It's about getting people interested, getting people in the door, getting people calling you, you know, clicking, responding. And, and then we have our inside salespeople pick up the phone, call them, connect with them and, and, and pick the low hanging fruit and set appointments for me to go. And like you said, then we have those conversations where we're now doing deals we're doing business. So um, that's the point. So, uh, and, and if, like I said, if somebody, I'd love it. I'd love it if somebody came and said, yes, I want to buy this house and you sell my house. Love it. I'd love to do that. And what we'll do with that too, Daniel, in terms of mechanics, we would create something similar in terms of off market opportunity for that seller where we would then potentially have the buy side. Right. Well, and I think, you know, what, what were, um, and I, I just want to make, this clear to the audience. I don't think as an industry, we realize our product that we're selling is listings. Like we are selling listings. So the biggest thing you can do as a listing agent is put your listings out there and advertise them. Right. And so I love that you've combined like cool offers and, and cutting edge marketing to cause business to come in the door. And to your point, so this, if you show this stuff to a sellers, you know how like, you know how impressed they are when we show this stuff to them? Right. Like we're impressed. I'm, you know, in our real estate space and we're doing stuff every single day in terms of marketing. Sure. So you show this stuff to a seller and you show the back end of Facebook and you say, look, I can target these people specific to their price, their, uh, their income, what mm -hmm. college they went to. I can target people in a specific area. And by the way, we've done this ad in your area in the past and we now, and we've captured uh, lists of people who have been interested in similar homes and we can retarget those people because yeah. we've been able to capture their information from previous ads. So these are all conversations that will definitely improve your listing presentation. Like we've, I mean, it's, this is like really, really cutting edge stuff and we're in San Francisco. I mean, there's, you know, the biggest tech companies in the world and, and, and you'd be surprised. I mean, there's people that a lot of people that, still are learning these this this stuff so it's so if you're in a market that doesn't have like a huge tech um community you will you will crush it with this stuff so well, I, like, uh, I like the chat box box feature because no matter how good i am in selling real estate like i'm not up at 11 p.m at night like i i go to bed early so but my chat box it's <laughs> it's responding all the time and so as a seller i think it's a strong value proposition to say Look, I got, we've got people who are going to answer questions about your home at all times. I think that's just a killer thing to do. And I think there's also a, a benefit in telling them, look, I'm spending money advertising your home. Right. Right. We're coming back. Guys, if you want it, it and, and I keep doing this because people, people hear it, but then they don't write it down and they get lost with their phone. So 555-888, you send a text with MOD on that. We're giving away a free guide. We're entering you into a contest to spend an hour with Kevin and I. Um, and, and then we're going to like break down your business. We do something called the seven figure business roadmap where you take, 
you know, whatever stage you're in in the real estate world, we figure out where you are, we build systems and processes with you, for you, we look at your org chart, and then we'll try to drive you to the point where you're netting a million dollars. That's our entire process for helping people. We've done it 4,000 times. Um, so if you're interested in doing a strategy call with us, getting this, the, the retargeting stuff, you know, like the how to create audiences and all that guide, just text us again, MOD 555-888 with your name. Okay. We have, we have some questions. Couple yeah, questions, we have here. questions here. People, people are asking, are the, is that a real off market listing? Yes. It's not on the market yet. <laughs> we're, that's like live. Like we're doing that right now. That's people are generating interest or generating jobs. So this is real live stuff. Like, you know, we're doing this stuff right now today. Like it's on right now. So, um, yeah, so we're doing this stuff live. Oh, okay. yeah. Chat box. Um, what's the name of the company? Many chat. Is that the name? M A N Y. Yep. Okay, perfect. All right, good. So let's get to the, to, we, we've got another ad. So, um, and this is part of the giveaway again, dude, when this guy, when Kevin comes in the world, he's just giving stuff away for free. It's, it's, it's nuts. He's like us. We just like to help, you know? Yeah. Um, so we're going to talk about your five step strategy for running ads so that your open house is freaking packed. And here's the thing. Everybody who's like leads, 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 I'm going to buy leads. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, pay Zillow or realtor or whatever. I think you're just missing the boat here because what we're talking about is getting face to face conversations with people. And when you meet somebody, you get to build rapport. And I think the best place to meet somebody are people who are driving around in the neighborhood looking for homes, right? I mean, that's what it is. And how do you get them there? You target them, you hit them on Facebook. So let's talk about what you, what you got going, um, what you got. And somebody asked, but I'm um, sorry, somebody asked, are, is there going to be a replay? Always a replay. Um, so Kevin, how do you do, how do you drive a ton of traffic to your open houses? So when we get an open house, the first thing we do, so we have every day we have something that's going on. So the first day, what you want to do is you want to send an invite to all the neighbors in the area. So you want to invite all the neighbors in the area to your uh, listing, to your open house. How do you do that? Are we calling everybody? Are we doing postcards or what are we doing? Uh, we do letters. So, so you can mail out, you can capture that information through like plenty of different sources, cold right. realty. Um, and then, so you met, you send out those, those letters and you invite them. And I, I and I got a, a tip from our buddy, Tristan. Uh, yeah. What he does is when he invites the neighbors to the open house uh, in that letter, he says, um, we're at the open house. We're going to give away, Five dollars Starbucks gift card, ten dollars Starbucks gift card. We're gonna we're gonna enter you into a drawing to win X, right? right? Bring this letter, and we'll enter you into the drawing when you when you get there. So that's that's something that um, again, it's like a giveaway. People want to you want people to come. You want people to be at your open house for obvious reasons. You want you know a lot of activity and stuff like that. But also you want to show the seller that you've got your you, you're doing things. People sellers want to see what you're doing. Yeah. Sellers want to know what you're doing. You, you want to show them that you're working for them. Right. We are doing, we're doing a lot of work for them, but a lot of times us as listing agents, we don't, uh, we don't, we don't like tell the sellers don't know what we're yeah. doing. Although we're doing all this stuff, they don't know. So we need to show them. And if we can have a packed open house and take video and put it on Facebook and target people and make sure they see it, that's really important. So day one, send an invitation to all the neighbors in your letter Mention that if they bring the letter, they get something for free. Okay. So day one, you're setting out. And your point is, let's not be secret listing agents. Let's tell the whole world you got a listing, right? Right. And make sure your seller knows yeah. that Good. you're doing these things. And you're also sh telling them exactly what you're doing and like constant reminder, constant in their face that this is what I'm doing. Um, and so Monday you do that, you send out an invitation and then you can follow up with calls. Right. Um, you can, what we do is we have our inside sales team, pick up the phone, reach out, say, Hey, we sent you an invitation to our open house that we're having. Uh, we'd love to have you there. We're inviting all the neighbors. It'd be great to see you. And, uh, by the way, we sent you a letter. Did you receive it? We're giving away X, please come bring a letter so you can get entered into the drawing, whatever. Another right. idea that, uh, you can do is like have like a taco truck at the open house. Yeah. Right? Bring the letter. We get a free 
Yeah, I like tacos too. So bring a, bring the letter. We'll give you a, you get a free taco, right? right. So you want to have people at your open house having a good time, and you want to share those things, and you want to let your sellers know, and you also want on day two <clears throat> to start targeting people in the neighborhood to show them about the property, talk about the property, talk about the open house, you know, talk about what you're doing, even include maybe other things that you've done in the past with other open houses. And um, if you've done these kinds of things in the past in terms of like, you know, having the get togethers in terms of like a taco truck or something, you want to capture that footage and you want to include those in your ads when you went on social media. So okay. other people can see and you're targeting. So you want to day two, you want to start targeting people in the area um, and then you want to include your, here's where you include your custom audiences. So, um, and we'll talk about how to use custom audiences a little bit later. Yeah. So that's day two, day one invitation, all the neighbors, day two, social media, day three is when you post the property in the MLS. Um, and, uh, day four is when you start blasting out flyers, sending out flyers, email blast, uh, to realtors, to neighbors, to potential buyers. Um, and then Fridays when we use, uh, we use like agent legend and we're sending out, um, automated text emails, drop voicemails and inviting them and notifying them about the open house. Um, also people that have expressed interest in the area. Like if you're, if you're generating leads through certain portals or what have you, any, anyone that's expressed interest in that particular area and that zip code, you want to reach out to those people and let them know, Hey, I saw that you inquired about this home. A while back, we just want to let you know that we're having an open house on this property on this day, similar to the one that you inquired on. Would love to invite you, love to you to come. So those are the five things that we do um, the week of the open house. And it, and it works really, really well. Okay. And then when do you, when do you schedule the open house um, and the off-market advertising that you do with the Facebook and then the go live day on the, I just want to understand the time frame because, you know, I've, I've sold a lot of real estate myself. We always lived everything on Thursdays. Like Thursday morning was our day. We get everything set. Everybody knew their, their property was going to hit the market Thursday between nine and 11. That was our gig. So what about you? Like what's, um, talk to us about your process around that. Yeah, either usually Thursdays are good, uh, but you want to start doing those things the Monday invitation, Tuesday, social media, you want to start doing those things on Monday. Like before you put the property on the market, the week of, uh -huh. you want to start, start doing those things that we talked about, the five things. Yeah. And uh, in terms of off market, what we'll do is we'll start talking about the property during the prep period. As soon as I get that, we get that listing agreement um, and we're going to start working on getting the property ready. We're, we're doing ads. We're targeting people. We're letting people know. So there's two separate things we're talking about here. One is the op one is the off market. Yep. So that you know you you can bring buyers in and get the property sold and save your clients some money and maybe represent the buyer what have you or refer it out. So that's happening immediately. Yep. And then once you're ready for the open house, you start on Monday. Gotcha. And so just to re just to redo the five things. So day one invitation to all the neighbors include the letter. Mm -hmm. Day two is you start pumping out ads uh, about the about the open house uh, day three then that's when you can either we usually put it on the MLS you can put it on the MLS on Wednesday Thursday is when you start doing your emails blasting out to realtors other people that have been interested and then Fridays when we're we're using automation we're using agent legend to send out email text messages drop voicemails yes and, and invite people to come um, and so those are the five five steps and so yeah so those are the five and it, and it works really really well and i would encourage anyone to try it let me know how it goes um the bigger the event the more people you're gonna get to come and the and so and it's also very helpful when um when they've when you've already been targeting people at, during the off market time as yeah. well right so they've all they've already seen the property they're familiar with it and then if you do some of these things that we're talking about as far as like on the previous ads, like the first one where we gave away the echo, those are people that you can also invite. Right. Right. So you can let them know that when you're reaching out to them, like, Hey, we're going to have an open house. We usually have kind of make it a big deal. We invite the neighbors, we invite everyone to come. We'd love to have you there. Um, probably on this date, but I'll let you know, we'll reach out to you. We'll give you a call, confirm the time. So, uh, 
it's kind of a lot of upfront work, but uh, I mean, it's great. And your sellers come, it's, it's beautiful. You know, like <laughs> it's awesome. And you sell houses is the point. That's, that's what you're looking to do is sell houses. Okay, I wanted to, cause we have a couple clients that have, I, I wanna like bolt on to that. And I'm sure you do some version of this, but a lot of our clients will um, use our virtual professionals to once a house, you know, gets under contract, they'll call the entire neighborhood and just let everybody know that, hey, we got it sold, but we had 12 different offers and that means only one person got it and we had 11 more potential buyers that really want to buy in this neighborhood and there are no listings right now. What's your plan with your property? So our, our virtual professionals are doing that. We also have, um, you were going to say something. What were you going to say about that? Well, I was just going to, um, no, I mean, I was going to say what you were talking about. Like, we'll, um, I don't like to personally do those, do those calls myself because I, I'd rather focus on other things that are going to convert into more dollar producing activities. But so we use our inside sales team yep. uh, to make those calls for us. So like you said, if it's, it's uh, whether it's an off market, whether we just put it in contract, right. We just, so we just, you know, we just listed it. We, somebody just, we just closed on it. The people just moved in. Like, yeah. The people yeah. are now putting up a new fence. <laughs> There's, yeah. a new, there's a new lawn, right? Yeah. So any reason that we can pick up the phone and call people, yeah. um, we definitely want to take advantage of that. And it's a lot warmer when they've already seen you, they know you, um, they've seen your ads, they've seen your info, they've, they've met you at the open house. So like when our inside sales people are called, it's like, hey, you know, we just, we sold this place, but you know, thanks so much for coming to our event. The tacos were awesome. Hope you enjoyed them. Just wanted to reach out. We had nine other people that wrote an offer. They didn't right. get it. Have you thought about maybe doing something? Cause we'd love to maybe connect, you know, the dots and if you guys yeah. are thinking about doing something. So uh, it's just kind of all goes hand in hand. So we're definitely, I think uh, uh, leveraging in terms of people should be leveraging their time, leveraging resources like you guys to, to make those calls and do those things that, you know, we, where we can be focusing on more dollar producing activities, like set the appointment for me and I'll yep. go meet with them kind of thing. Well, and, and what I like about, you know, what you guys do that is unique because I'm a, I'm a broker, you're a broker, you're trying to grow your company. Like you're, you're giving this value out because you want more folks to come work with you and you really nailed down how to generate leads on Facebook. Um, but you also do some really cool things. Um, talk to us about how you help your agents leverage their network inside Facebook and also the MC thing. I don't, <laughs> what is an MC? I don't know. <laughs> an MC, yeah. So what we do, so there's a really, really cool app that allows you to um, capture your sphere of influence um, and really start targeting them in Facebook. One of the questions that I get all the time you know, when I'm speaking across the country and talking to different people and going to events is, uh, man, you do so much stuff with Facebook, but my big problem, Kevin, is like, how do I get my, all my sphere of influence? How do I get my people where, you know, talk about targeting, how can I get my sphere of influence? How can I start targeting them on Facebook? So I came across this app called MC Backup. MC Backup is like the best two bucks you'll ever spend. Uh, because what it'll do is it takes all your contacts out of your phone, which is basically your sphere of influence. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, so you, yeah. Take, you take your sphere of influence and then out of your phone, it's an app called MC Backup. It allows you to, to download all of your contacts. I have like 9,000 contacts on my phone. Right. Within like two minutes, it'll take all those contacts and it'll put them in a file, in a CSV file. So now I have my entire sphere of influence in a file. And here's how custom, a custom audience works. You take that sphere of influence, you plug it into Facebook, right? Facebook will then match the contacts, the name, phone number, email, to see if they have an account in Facebook. Usually like 70% of the time, those contacts are, are matched in Facebook. Right. So now I have 70% of my sphere of influence in Facebook. And I can start targeting them. Yeah. So what we do is we'll like anytime there's a press release or something, something cool about like market real estate, we'll target the sphere, my sphere. So yeah. they're seeing my stuff. And so I think some of my friends are watching because we, we posted it. So if you guys are watching, that's what, that's what we do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, uh, guys. <laughs> yeah, was, but uh, so we're targeting you. But here's what we do that's really cool for the agents on our team. Right. Is when they join our company, we actually do the targeting for them. So we'll take the sphere of, their sphere of influence through MC Backup. And our awesome marketing manager, Justin Stevenson, will take that, those contacts, do the, put them in Facebook, have the audience, and then we create campaigns right. and ads about the agents that are on our team. Right. And so we're doing it for them. And we're talking about how great Daniel Ramsey is, how awesome he is, you know, what are the cool things that he's doing. And we then are targeting your sphere. Yep. And so what's cool about that is it's the third party like endorsement, the third party verification. Social proof. It's coming from Marker Real Estate. It's not coming from Daniel Ramsey. Right. You see, so it's like it's more powerful. Like, why is Yelp so successful? Yelp is successful because of third party. Everyone wants to know what other people think about you. They don't care what you think about yourself. They want to know what other people think about you. So that's like the power in that. And that's what we do for our agents when they join our company. We have camp we do campaigns where we're targeting their sphere of influence. Oops. They're tar they're targeting their sphere of influence. Can you still see me? We can still see you. Yeah. Okay. Um, targeting their sphere of influence and uh, it's coming from a third party. So it's really, really powerful. So um, yeah, and that's, your value, that's your value that you're providing to your agents. You're helping them build their business. So they went, when they come to work, you know, I mean, when they come work with you, you're actually saying, look, I've got this person, a full-time guy, Justin, who is going to make you look like a rock star in front of everybody and and really ultimately help drive revenue to you agent that's 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 really what's going on that's what it's all about and you think like back in the day i got into real estate way back in like 2002 the first thing that people say when you enter your when when i got into the business was call everyone you know yeah pick up the phone call every single person you know send a letter to every person you know like dude i don't have time for that <laughs> like, yeah. So I'll just use Facebook. I'll use MC backup. It'll take me 10 seconds. I'll put it in Facebook and I'll start then like calling them. They're now seeing me. They're seeing right. me regularly. And it's a, uh, it's a lot more effective. I mean, yeah, you should call them and stuff. I think still, but also couple that with like technology, boom, like it's powerful, you know? So that's right. really, really important. Um, the other thing that we do as far as a company is like, I can't deal with all those leads that we're getting through these ads. Right. So we provide those leads to agents on our team. And so if you're a broker and you're, and you're seeing this, this could be a really powerful thing for you to do for your teams. If you're an agent, um, obviously these are ways for you to create leads for yourself to get out there. Um, and these are all really, really powerful things that we're using every single day. Like these are things that I'm not, there's not theory. Like this right. is reality. Like I'm doing it. I'm not, you're right. So these are things we're doing. So, um, I would really be interested and curious to, to hear about stories and, you know, if anyone does this, I'd love to hear about it. I just, it's really exciting. So. Yeah. Okay. What percentage of your business comes from Facebook leads? Like if, if you, if, if you kind of break down your business into like, okay, these are all the referrals we get. These are all the events that we do. These are all the different, you know, things that we do. What, what do you think at, what is in your business? And then as like the expert in this space, what's probably the right amount? So here's the thing. Here's, the difference between I'm going to break down the different lead sources yeah. for everyone to see like what, you know, what are you getting when you pay for lead for, for Facebook leads versus paying for some other lead from some other source. So if you think about like a funnel, everyone talks about the funnel, right? Right. So in terms of online leads, most online leads are a little bit higher in the funnel in general, the best lead is a referral, right? But in terms of online, um, if you think about a funnel, and the bottom of the funnel is like where people are ready to transact. Facebook leads tend to be on the top. So yeah. they're not ready to like transact just yet. Right. It takes a little bit more nurturing takes a little bit more time um, versus like a portal lead through like one of the big portals where you're going to, there may be ready to go sooner, but you're going to spend a lot more for that lead. That's going to be ready to go sooner versus a Facebook lead that's maybe not necessarily ready just yet. So the, the interesting thing is like getting to that point where you can get in front of them at the top end of the funnel and create those, those um, relationships and, and really nurture that relationship and stay in front of people and like let them know who you are and to retarget them and do all these things so that when they do get lower down where they're ready, you're already in front of them. 
they already know who you are. You're going to be the, the person, you're going to be the expert that they're going to reach out to. So, um, so in terms of cost per lead, I mean, you can Facebook ads I mean, you can get for less than two bucks a lead right. versus like with, with portals, it's $150 per, for one right. versus $2 okay. for one. Right. So we've got a couple of quick questions. Go ahead. Um, uh, I heard you say something about drop voicemails um, and that's agent legend was the system. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So agent legend allows you to uh, leave a voice message one time and you can send it out to like a bunch of people. A bazillion people. And then um, <laughs> they're really good during the holidays, like Thanksgiving. Yeah. Right? Uh, there's also slide broadcast, slide broadcast that you can use. It's a, it, that's just voicemail alone where Agent Legend allows you to do voicemail, texting, and email, kind of all in one. Right. Which is nice. Um, yeah, so that's what that's the answer to that question. What's the other question? Looks like... Uh, uh, it's do, whoa. Oh, okay. Do you, oh, wait, there it is. If you run an ad to one of your buddies, do they call you and be like, what the hell? Why are you trying to sell my house? I live in Chicago. <clears throat> you know, really, really good question. It's hard to track, right? it's hard to track because you're just, you're kind of brand, it's like branding. You're sitting, you're putting yourself out there. But I've noticed that I get a lot more people reaching out to me from my sphere when we're targeting them. So I get people that reach out to me and say, Hey, I saw that you're, you're on this like article. looks like you're doing some cool stuff. I'm, I have my real estate license. I'd love to talk with you about joining your company or gotcha. and these are out of nowhere. Like I haven't talked to these people in like 10 years, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's cool. It's cool because you are, you're getting yourself out there in front of your sphere. And what happens is you people that know you, they start cheering for you. They start rooting, they root for you. They want you to do, be, do well. So the idea is they're going to either work with you or hopefully send you a referral. You become the guy and, or the girl. So, right. well, that's a great question. And I, I, my, I'm like squirrel. We're talking quite uh, stuff, right? Um, I'm a broker. I had a team, your broker, you have a team, you have your own company. There's probably a lot of folks on this thing that are either in the process of building a team, want to be brokers or are brokers. How would you use Facebook to recruit people in? Like what would, and I'm just asking a, a quick question for, for, you know? So the nice thing with Facebook is, uh, you getting, getting your brand out there, right. getting in front of people. So those audiences that we talk about, you can use the same audiences for real estate professionals. Those, that, that, those, that data is out there. So you can target real estate professionals gotcha. and just show your brand, show your, show, show your, uh, show off your company yeah, and perfect. it becomes recognition. And there are other ads and stuff. I know we have a, we're out of time, but there's lots of other things that we can do. We do, we are doing that are very effective with regards to recruiting and growth. Okay, awesome. We got another question. Once Facebook matches your sphere to Facebook, do you add them and their, and friends on your personal page, request um, that they like your business page, or just use it for targeting your ads? Well, I add all my friends to like my page. I ask, I'm inviting people to like my page like uh, constantly. Uh, and, and yeah, friending everyone. If there are people that, that are in my contacts that I don't that I'm not friends with on Facebook, like I'm going to look them up and I'm going to friend them for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you want to send them to your Facebook business page and if they like it, you can retarget them for a, a lot less than running fresh ads. So I'm a big fan of, of having somebody like your page. Um, okay. So MC back up, back up sounds awesome or amazing. <laughs> I'm throwing words in his mouth, right? Uh, <laughs> Jeff had a question. Have you, um, what if you add more people? Like, do you just keep running an MC backup every single time or, or does it like do a like check and then cross section and then say, these are the 12 you need to add them to your list or how does it work? Yeah. So you have to, so it's like every person that you add to your phone, if you wanted to add that one extra person, you're going to have to hold, do a whole new like MC backup thing. Okay. But, you know, I mean, it's un, I think it's unlimited the number of times that you can download the app the, and then you just, you could add them into Facebook every time and update your lists, your, your audiences. So you just schedule that once a quarter and yeah, yeah. I would just schedule that. Okay, cool. And then when you have a lead come through, where do you work the lead? Do you put it into a CRM or like, how, do, how does that, and like, and how do you, you know, I know you're gonna pull your database back and forth, throw it in a Facebook, create new audiences every single time, but 
you guys primarily work out of a CRM, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. What does it look like? We use Follow Boss. So we have uh, through for our lead for our leads that we're generating, like through lead ads, um, Facebook leads that we're actually paying for, we they just funnel straight into Follow a Boss. Right. And we have our inside sales team call and we sign those agents leads to agents on our team. That's awesome. Okay, good. That we're now at that point where we're going to talk about creating a custom audience, the lookalike things, and some of your map. We're, we're we're just going to do that for five minutes and then we're going to wrap up. Um, everybody, I'm like, which side is it on? Uh, text <laughs> here, like a weather guy. I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> um, make sure you text so you can get this guide that we're going to go over um, with Kevin. But Kevin, let's drop, this is our last piece. Um, and don't be shy about asking questions because this is the technical portion of the call. This is where all the value is. So how do you create a custom audience inside Facebook that is going to really add value to a real estate professional? So I'm going to, I'm going to be straight, candid, open. Um, I usually don't do the custom audience technical stuff like in depth right. uh, marketing manager that does it. But as far as uh, entering custom audiences, um, you know, you can capture, for example, if you wanted to do a expired campaign, yes. okay? you want to do an ad about you want, you're focusing on expired listings. Mm -hmm. You can take all the contacts out of, let's say, Cole Realty or Land Voice, right? right, right. Take all those, you download a CSV file. It's very simple. You take a CSV file, you put it into Facebook, yep. and then Facebook will match based on the information that you provide. It's very simple. That's yep. it. So if you want to do expired campaigns, go get a CSV file, put it into Facebook, and see what happens. You right. may get 20%, you may get 10%, you may get 60%. It just depends, right? It depends on the data that you have. Well, um, I, would even, I would even add, don't stop when the percentages are low. I would even add, you know, if, if you do it with Land Voice and you get their information and you need to overlay that with Cole Real, Realty Resources, you know, exact data, you know, any of the data sources, uh, Sales Dialer has a, a data set. So you can actually pull the data from one system, drop it into another, collate that information and try to get a higher match back with, with Facebook. That's the whole, that's the whole point. Right. The whole point. And, and yeah. And so again, it becomes like a specific target audience that you now you're creating an ad about expired listings. Like, Hey, your home didn't sell or <laughs> here's a reason why top five reasons why homes don't sell. Right. And you target an exp expired audience. Mm -hmm. Do you think they'd be maybe interested in that if their home just expired? Right. Right. Or if it was someone that didn't sell their, they had their home listed three years ago. And you say top reasons why you should list your home now if you didn't sell in the past, you know, whatever. So right. that's, and then the other, another thing, another idea is if you're, if you have a database, like we have a lot of people in our, in our CRM yeah. and you have a lot of people that have inquired about property in specific areas, like yeah. a specific zip code or right. a specific bedroom count or a specific community, that's an audience. Mm -hmm. So you can take people that inquired about homes in a zip code three bedroom, 2000 square feet plus, if you have enough people, you can put that into Facebook and now you've got an audience there. Start targeting people with, you know, that are, might be interested in that. So the idea is that with audiences is uh, you're, you've got like a specific like niche, you know, that, that, that your, your content is relevant to them. Right. Versus like, let's say the most, you know, vague thing you can do is like get a billboard on a freeway. That's right. I'm a realtor. Like the percentage of people that are driving on that freeway that are interested in you as a realtor is probably not that high, right? Versus if, if like you do a custom audience where they're definitely are interested, they've expressed interest. Now you've got it. Now it's targeted. So it's, you're spending your dollars in a much more effective way. That's what I love about it. That's a, that's a great um, perspective. I really like it. Um, let me ask you another kind of business question. Your broker, broker, do you target buyers on Facebook or just listings? We target both. So, okay. Yeah. Target both. So if it's, I mean, if we're, if somebody has inquired about buying a home in 94131 zip code, mm -hmm. then we're going to do a buy, like a buyer ad. Gotcha. Or, or if it's an off market listing that we have in that zip code, we're going to target those people that have inquired about houses in that zip code. So again, it's about 
you know, the relevant audience so that when we're spending our dollars, which you can boost those posts, by the way, mm-hmm. you're spending your dollars to an, to an audience that is actually interested in what you have to say. Yeah. All right. Uh, we've got Demos. We're being recorded. If you're jumping on here, definitely um, what you need to do is text this so you can get the recording and all the giveaways. Um, this will be on our Facebook um, business page so you can, you can watch it from the beginning. Um, Kevin, we, we, we are out of time, dude. And I like to end these things on an hour because I want to be respectful of everybody's time. Um, let's, let's wrap up. What are the, you know, what are the things that somebody uh, should get from this, from this call with you? Like, what is it, what is it that you want somebody to walk away with? Besides the fact, if you're in California, in San Francisco, and you're seeing this, Kevin is hiring. Uh, <laughs> that is definitely, uh, and, and honestly, if you're on a team that provides the amount of leads and opportunity that his team does, I, I, I'm, I would be surprised. I think, I think it's a good conversation. So everybody that does this text thing right here, um, Kevin, Kevin and I are going to enter you into the drawing. You're going to get an hour with us both where we're going to really ask a lot of good questions. We'll draft your future, what you want out of your future. We'll help you with who you need to hire, what your systems need to look like. We'll talk about really just growing your company, right? So when you text 555-888, you need to send mod and then your full name. You're getting the guide, you're getting the ads, you're getting entered to spend time with us. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's massive. So that, that, that is what we're up to. Um, Kevin, what, are the, what, what should somebody walk away after going through this and actually implement right away? First thing you wanna do is go get MC Backup and download it. Yep. I I've mentioned the MC Backup a bazillion times. I need to like be an, an ambassador for them or something. I need to like get a percentage of their company because I've talked about it so much, but it's, wow. a very, <laughs> it's a very, very effective tool that will um, allow you to start targeting your sphere of influence. So that's number one. Okay. Number two is uh, start thinking about effective um, advertising where you're spending your dollars on, on things that are actually um, going to give you a return to relevant, like focusing on relevant audiences. Yeah. So doing that again through like targeting and using Facebook's backend. Um, and then uh, think about creative ads that you can create, that you can do. So uh, think about like giveaways. Those are really fun. You know, like people are interested. They want to think about gamifying having, having fun with, with, with something uh, so that people can be engaged and, and want to start commenting and, 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 and being involved with, with what you're doing. Because once that happens, now those are opportunities to, to create relationships and hopefully to do business. That's what this is all about. Yeah, so uh, real quick, somebody asked, how do you create a specific custom audience? Unfortunately, that's a huge conversation <laughs> um, and we're not gonna be able to cover it in the next three to five minutes. Um, but you, 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 if you do the text thing, you're gonna get a guide about how to do that. So that can be your jumping off point and you can learn how to do that. Um, Sly broadcast over agent legend or vice versa. Uh, look, it, somebody once said, what's the best CRM to use? It's the one that you're using. What's the best dialer to use? It's the one that you're using. What's the best broadcast? It's the one that you're using and that you consistently use. Um, I see a question here, Daniel. What is, what is MOD? So I'm going to let you talk about that. Yeah, my outdesk. I mean, so we're a real estate virtual professional company. We help companies get leverage in their business. Somebody asked about Canada too. Um, just jump on our Facebook page um, and then we, we, can get you, we can get you hooked up if you want that free guide. Um, but look, we help real estate professionals grow their business. We talked a little bit about the seven figure business roadmap. When you come in, there are six stages to every business. I mean, there are six stages really. The I do it, the we do it, and the they do it. Like Kevin's in the they do it world. Like he's, he's, he's built that nice business, but wherever you are in that process, we're gonna help break down what your obstacles are to get to the next stage in your business. And so um, when you do the text thing, we're, we're gonna go through a strategy call with you. We're gonna find out what leverage you need, what systems you're using, and we're really going to dive into like, okay, what do you wanna accomplish in 2018, 19, and 20? Um, and so the reason we brought Kevin in here is because to be frank, we were getting too many questions about Facebook and it, and we wanted to get a practitioner um, who actually used it to generate listings and buyers. So um, Kevin, thanks for being here. 
Uh, we're out of time, man. You've just been you've been, you've been great. Lots Thank of fun. Really appreciate you guys um, inviting me. It's always a pleasure being with you guys. You guys are awesome. MOD is a really really great company. We you know have helped us a lot in in so many ways. And um, I just say yeah, just good luck to everyone. We're you know with, in terms of the strategy call, it can be on any level. Does uh, as far as what you're doing. And uh, yeah, so reach out to us and I'm happy to talk with you. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for joining us today. Bye.